Hey everyone, I'm coming to you today to show you these clipping extensions that I got from O Wigs. Um, I've done a review for them before and they sent me these clipping extensions to review. They sent me a pack of clipping extensions. They came in the color 1B um, in the curly silky texture and they were 22 inches long. So the first thing that I did was brush the curls out so that it could have a more natural texture to the curls. And then after that, I just begin to place the clip-in extensions in my hair. So the first thing you want to do is brush your hair out. And then what I did was part where I wanted the extension to begin. So, so I just begin by parting my hair wherever I want the first set of clip-ins to be. And you want to measure the clip-ins and make sure they fit the perimeter of the part wherever you're placing them on. And so um, when you're putting clip-ins in your hair, you want to make sure that you place the clip-ins directly above the part, if that makes sense. As you can see me doing in the video, when you part your hair, you want to place the clips right on the part. That way when you brush your hair down, you can't see any of the tracks or the clip-ins. So for me in the style that I'm doing in this video, I didn't do a particular style, I just decided to style the clip-ins as wearing them down. So um, I'm going to do a side part as you'll see me do in a second here, but you want to make sure that you don't use up all your clip-ins in the back and that you save some for the front, especially with these curly extensions because they're a little bit harder to blend if your hair is not naturally curly. The good thing about these extensions is that they were double wefted and so they're very thick um, it really wasn't hard to or I didn't have to place that many extensions in to fill up a part like the extensions were very very thick and it creates a very full head of hair look in the very end as you'll see um, so not only were they double wefted but the texture was really pretty when I brushed out the curls they looked really natural and so as you see in the video here, I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. I'm just picking where I want to place the clips of the extensions um, in my hair to create the best and most full look. Um, and I'm just doing that over and over again until I get to the very top. And so most of my hair I just decided to leave straight because I didn't want to put a ton of heat on my natural hair. But what I did do was use my Conair um, Infinity Crimp Iron and I crimped the leave out that I had at the top. That way it would blend more with the extensions. Right now it's just straight but I'll show you in a second here. Any part of my hair that was showing I just decided to crimp it so that it would look more natural. And so this is how it looked after I crimped it. Um, there's parts of my hair that are a little bit more brown than the clip-ins. And then as you can see when I turned around, I obviously should have crimped my hair in the back a little bit more to blend it. Because um, some of my ends were straight. But it still looks really, really pretty. Um, I really did like these clip-in extensions. And they were really soft. Um, and very easy in a quick style to do. So that's pretty much it. I'll put all the information about this company below in the clip-ins that I received. And they're actually doing a coupon code. If you use the coupon code AMBRY, you get $5 off your purchase. So um, if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. And thanks so much for watching.